In the context of Darwinian evolution, the most crucial adaptations would involve the male reproductive system. To optimize the whale's mobility in water, its reproductive organs would have to move from the exterior of the animal's torso to inside its abdominal cavity. But to produce sperm, the internalized testes must be cooled and kept below core body temperature. Unless it's kept below, you'd have no sperm production, period. And in evolutionary terms, sterility means it's no-go. You don't count in, in the race of life, so to speak. One of the necessary conditions of natural selection is the ability to reproduce. You can't have natural selection if you don't have reproductive capability. You can't make the sperm, you can't have reproduction, you can't get natural selection operating. So you've got to solve this engineering problem. As a male humpback swims, it generates heat, raising its body temperature. To prevent sterility, the whale relies on a refrigeration mechanism designed into its circulatory system. In the non-insulated regions of the dorsal fin and tail, blood is cooled and then transported through a network of veins to the whale's abdomen. Here, beneath a layer of muscles, a web of veins and arteries surround the testes. They are arranged so blood flows in alternate directions and heat from the warm arteries radiates to the cooler veins. This transfer lowers the temperature of the blood to a safe level before it is channeled to the reproductive organs. It's a remarkable solution to that problem. It's beautiful, it's anatomically complex. It involves what is called, uh, borrowing from the Latin, a miraculous web of arteries and veins. But can you explain it by some smooth, gradualistic, textbook scenario, little change, little change, fixation? No, it doesn't fit the Darwinian model. In my opinion, you're looking at just a suite of characters that had to have been integrated from the get-go. I mean, it's a non-gradualistic type of change. So the cooling system makes sense because you have internalized reproductive glands. The internalized reproductive glands, however, are a no-go unless you've got the cooling system. You can't explain the emergence of one without the other.